with Duran Duran in Canada. Central News was given exclusive access to the band. Yes, and tonight we're backstage in their dressing room as they prepare to perform in front of 15,000 people. The reporter is Mark Goff. Toronto, 15,000 fans are going wild to see the Wild Boys. If only they knew that 20 minutes before, the band couldn't even decide what to wear. Um, this is the dressing room. Look at the racks and racks of clothes which they've got. Um, Jeffrey, yeah. who's this red jacket? Uh, that's John Taylor's from Juicy Couture, based in Los Angeles. But They're about $1,800, I think. The, the mad thing is, they bring everything they have with them. But normally wear, they wear the same outfit every night. And, but I'm serious. You're a patient man. You're a patient man. Yeah. I'm constantly on the lookout for new clothes for them. Uh, I can Where do you shop for them? I, absolutely everywhere. Um, I'm I'm stuck in in my bed 2:30 US time on my phone, speaking to somebody who's on Oxford Street for me, going into shops in London, buying clothes for me, and then FedEx them out. And then five o'clock after wake up again to give them the right address. Well, they keep calling me, oh, do I get this colour, that colour? So I never get any sleep. You don't buy the cheap shops, do you? Uh, we, um, I think the cheapest thing I have, I actually have shirts here, which cost me £2. And the most expensive thing but here, we have jackets which are about £2,000 from Giorgio Armani. And where's the £2 shirt? Uh, the two, where's the £2 shirt? Oh, I have to find it, yeah. The two that is, that's the £2 shirt. That is our £2 shirt. And we will find... Uh, I think that, that is the £2,000 Giorgio Armani to order. And who wears that? The, the black label. Uh, this, is, this is Simon's. Oh, look at these. These are creased. Okay, who's, who are uh, them? These are John Taylor's new ones. It's by um, a designer called Cloak, who, who's actually Russian. Are they meant to look but, like that? Uh, based in New York. It's, all, it's good for me. It's all creased. You don't have to iron it. Fantastic. <laughs> Those are the boots over here. Oh, uh, these are John Taylor's work boots that you buy in Los Angeles. I think they're about you know, $20. All bastion. They have to be bastion because they look better. Mr. Nick okay. Oh, it's boot camp, Jeffrey, is boot it? Camp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you going to wear tonight? Have you decided yet? Well, I'm definitely not wearing those, apart from the fact they're the wrong size. Grubby things, aren't they? Look at that. So, what's your fancy wearing tonight? As of all this long? Sport for choice, aren't yeah, they? I, I'm I have amazed. no idea. And, you know, and old Jeffrey, he said you, you wear the same thing every night. He has to bring all this stuff. Yeah, yeah that's and true, he, actually. And you wear the same thing every night. That's not true. I haven't said that. The occasional <laughs> night will come and say, no, I want something else tonight. <laughs> and he's got that one. Particular one ready. Just, just before they go on stage, I don't wear this one. I have to iron it. That's rare 1950s game show host. That is fantastic. Oh, it's it's rather it. splendid, isn't it? What's in there, Jeff? It's the fabulous lever. Is that yours? Do you wear that one? Of course. Who else would dare wear such a thing? I know. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Universal Studios, Los Angeles. Don't show him that. Oh, it's been. That's been on in a. <laughs> it's been, it's been in a hundred game shows. <laughs> That's Simon. That's Getting ready. Um, Is it going on? No, I just don't want to it's like the Vikings are coming, doesn't it? <laughs> How long did you spend warming up? About half an hour, I think. Goodness me. Yeah. We have to put up with that noise for half an hour before every show. That's why you're all in this room. Exactly, yeah. I'm trying to get away from him. He's off. Oh, jokies. The joke is, with his warm-ups when he's doing that, one of these days there's this herd of something. He's going to come through. He's going to attract he's going to come a herd of wildebeest. The... Yeah. <laughs> They're all going to be going, Daddy! What do you do to warm up? I go in and we've cup got... Cup of tea. Cup of tea, yes. Cup of tea, slice of cake. Now, there's a, there's a room there where Roger and I go and warm up. We'll be doing that when we've got a chance. Well, I, what do you have to do to warm up? I mean, do, what do you do? Well, you play a little bit. That is the only warm-up I do, um, and it was taught to me by Bjorks. Um, I saw that. 
Um, I, by her um, vo vocal coach, she said it's the only warm-up worth doing. And I do it every night before I go on, and boy, it really works, actually. It really does. Oh! Let's keep the floor. I don't think it works. Is there guys? any reason why it wouldn't work? <laughs> I've got my great picture of the evening. Do you think about the, um, the Birmingham gig at all? What, what are you thinking? We are very excited, is what we are. Tomorrow night, boys on film. Exclusive footage of their secret visit back to their Birmingham roots. This was where world domination started. Uh, so where have we been going wrong here, don't you? We've got to keep warming up. Oh, yeah. Gosh, she sounded like he was in pain, didn't he?